Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to install MySQL for um, Windows 10. Okay, go to www.mysql.com. Yep, now click on downloads. Now come down, you will find an option MySQL Community GPL downloads. Click. Now click on MySQL installer for Windows. Now uh, the community download. You click on it. Yep. No. Uh, no thanks. Just start my download. The installer has been downloaded. Click. Then the wizard has been opened. Okay select the custom option so that you can customize configuration now mysql service click uh, i select mysql server i select uh, the latest one next uh, workbench applications now workbench also i select okay now if anybody wants shell mysql shell that can be installed i don't need it mysql connect is also uh, ODBC connector, .NET connector, Python connector, everything can be installed. If you really want Python, then first you should have installed the Python. Then you would be able to see the Python C. The uh, alert um, has failing requirement. Python 64 is not installed. So if anybody need that, um, Python should be installed first. So these two I am going to install. Click next. Execute. Yeah. It's downloading the product now. Let it download the product. Yep, it's done. Click um, error. Try again. MySQL workbench. It finds some error. Let me try once again. Okay, it's done. Okay, if you find those sort of errors, just try again. Click next. Now ready to install. Execute. Okay, installing the first one. Yes, completed installation. Now click next, then finish. Okay, now the MySQL workbench window will be opened. Just wait for it. Yeah, so it's a MySQL workbench window has been opened, but we have not set the uh, users, or then only if you if we have uh, users, then only we can connect the new connection, right? So for that, what we are going to do is uh, this PC, click on uh, downloads folder again. Let me click the installable uh, installation uh, file once again. Click on the installer once again. Now you will get a new wizard, reconfigure. There is a link called reconfigure. Click on it. Now it's all good. Click next. Now set the password for the default user by default a user will come root put a reset a password for it yes done now if you really want to add a new user other than this root user default let me add one more in my name shiny and uh, host you can give local host server and role you can select mysql all good and set a password please make sure uh, this password please make sure to note this password root password and if you have created this new user that password as well click next so that is uh, required to connect to the workbench then it's all good click next yep click execute here again initializing database may take a uh, little more time now starting the server yes it's configuration has been completed click finish now you don't have to reopen this again plug this wizard installer wizard go back to our workbench window now we have created uses right now let's create a new connection click plus icon yes let me create a new um, connection shiny connection then host is local host what is this root is by default uh, user uh, root uh, username so you know the password just give the password click ok now you test the connection yes successfully made the connection now click ok 
Now let us open this uh, new connection. You can do anything you want here. And if you want to create a new database using command prompt, uh, I will show you. Go to your MySQL, see program files, MySQL server, MySQL SQL server 8 pin. Now you copy this uh, folder structure bin. Now come back to run and CMD, right? Go to command prompt. Now you type CT double quotes. Now uh, fin uh, finish that double quote, enter. So now type MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. That means uh, MySQL uh, username is root and password you have to give. Enter. Now it asks for the password. You have to give the password. Now it's open connection. Let me type some command called show databases. Yep, see this. The existing default databases has been uh, displayed. Let me create a new database. Shiny underscore new. Yep, that is created. Now again show databases. Uh, there is some. Okay. Yep, the new one has been created. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video and you have already learned how to install MySQL properly, how to create a user, how to create new connection, how to create database. And further, if you want to uh, know more about uh, the SQL operation, creating, updating, deleting operations and um, uh, joins and all, uh, another video I have created for that. That link is given at the bottom so you can go through it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please um, like, subscribe and share. Please leave your comment also and um, we will see in next video. Thank you.